My name is Dr. Courtney Kenning. I'm a herbalist and acupuncturist here at the Holistic Institute of Health and Fertility. I specialize in infertility. Um, right here I have a list of the causes of infertility. Um, seven of the most common reasons why couples are unable to conceive. Number one being unexplained and number two being the male factor. Today I'm going to talk a lot about the male factor, which is a whopping 23% of all infertility cases. So when you suspect that you might have problems with your sperm or you and your partner are unable to conceive and the woman has, is everything is okay, you can um, go and give a semen sample. So when you give a semen sample, they're going to analyze your semen and these are the things that they're looking for. So they're looking for a measurement of the semen volume, the pH of the semen. Um, they're do looking at the, underneath the microscope to see if there's any kind of extra things in there that are not supposed to be in there. Leukocytes to see if there is an infection and um, immature germ cells. So the World Health Organization has made a list of parameters that all doctors and follow. Um, and so this is kind of what they're basing everything on. Um, they're making sure that you have a volume of at least 1.5 milliliters. The sperm concentration needs to be 15 million sperm per milliliter and a total sperm number of 39 per sample. They're looking at the morphology, the vitality, and how well the sperm swim. So this is just a quick overview of the sperm morphology. Um, just in case you're unclear what they mean when they tell you that you have poor morphology. Um, a normal sperm is sperm right there, is our example of a normal sperm. And then you have the big sperm, the small sperm, sperm with two heads, sperm with two tails, and then just the misshapen head of the sperm. So here's a lovely list of the causes of male infertility. It's a huge list, and some of these are debatable. They haven't done full studies to find out if they're true or not, if it's true or not. But it can be anything from a traumatic injury to radiation, environmental toxins, um, tight underwear, cell phones, poor diet, and even too much alcohol. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Chinese medicine diagnosis of poor, poor sperm quality and why you would have poor sperm quality. So what I love about Chinese medicine is the ability for it to fit all of these random symptoms that show up, like sore lower back, um, you know, some premature ejaculation to swelling and itching in your scrotum. Um, under one umbrella and we're able to make a diagnosis in Chinese medicine and treat you when in Western medicine things are kind of scattered all over the place. Um, the first diagnosis that we can make in Chinese medicine is the kidney indeficiency. So this is usually caused by overwork and lots of stress, staying up late, not sleeping regular hours and just working too much. So some of the symptoms that we have with kidney indeficiency our premature ejaculation, impotence or inability to sustain an erection, a very high libido um, and a high percentage of abnormal sperm, restlessness and heat. So the person seems kind of agitated or they're very thirsty or they just have a lot of heat kind of symptoms. Um, next is the kidney yang deficiency. So that is displayed by a low libido, whereas in the kidney indeficiency we had high libido. Again, impotence and, in, and an inability to sustain erection, poor sperm quality, low sperm count, and this person would usually feel tired and cold. Um, the next one is damp heat. So usually that person will have swelling and heat and discomfort in the genitals, painful urination, and often they'd have a, some previous infection like herpes or STDs, or just maybe a rash down there. Um, damp heat can be caused by a poor diet and overconsumption of alcohol. Um, another really common one that people are talking a lot about right now is qi and blood stasis. So qi is a vital energy in Chinese medicine. We want to make sure that it's moving very smoothly. And blood stasis is just exactly what it sounds like. So um, a varicose seal, this is a picture of a varicose seal here on the slide, can actually be felt on the scrotum and seen. And um, it's diagnosed through an ultrasound and there is surgery that you can get to treat it. Another symptom would be an undistended, undistended testicles or a reversal of a vasectomy is something that we can treat too. So what can acupuncture treat? Um, you've had this diagnosis, you've given your semen analysis, and um, we can treat these four things, among others, but mostly these four things. Low motility, a poor morphology, very common. Low sperm count, again, very common. And anti-sperm antibodies. Um, so there's lots and lots of research to support that Chinese medicine can 
help with male infertility. Um, this is just one study that they've done among many. So this was a control, controlled study with 32 men. 16 of the men were given 10 acupuncture treatments over five weeks, and the results were an increased number of mobile sperm, um, an increased number of sperm with intact tails, and an increased percent of viable sperm. And that was only in five weeks, twice a week. I'd just like to speak briefly about poor sperm quality, two points I'd like to make. Um, it's much more simple to treat a man than it is to treat a woman. Um, a woman's cycle is a lot more complicated, a lot of different hormones, and um, also we have to worry about regulating the period and making sure that the woman is ovulating and pinpointing the ovulation. Um, another point is that sperm quality changes with age, decreasing fertility just like in women. So the older a man gets, unfortunately, the lower quality the sperm can become. So if you're not comfortable coming to the clinic and getting session after session of acupuncture, we have a couple options. Um, one of them being herbal medicines, so I would bring you into the clinic and give you a diagnosis and then send you home with your herbal medicine and only do follow-up visits and maybe some email check-ins to see how your herbal medicine is working. Um, another one that we can do is an, actually an acupuncture treatment when your partner is ovulating and or the day that the sample is given or the day before just to increase the vitality of the sperm. So when you come to the clinic, what will your visit be like? You'll do a lot of paperwork, um, we'll do a lot of history taking, and um, <clears throat> I'll send you home with a herbal prescription and then give you an acupuncture treatment. So where will you poke me? Most often when I treat men in the clinic, um, they're very uncomfortable because they're worried that it's gonna be very close to their nether regions and the needles are gonna go in kind of dangerous places, but no worries, this image here shows probably the closest points that we're going to get when we treat you. So 23% of all infertility is caused by the male factor. I'd just like to reiterate that again because I've seen so many times where we treated a woman for months and months and months and she's trying to get pregnant and to no avail because the actual issue is with the man. So if you guys are planning on getting pregnant, then go and give your sample because we want to make sure that all of our bases are covered. And if you're not satisfied with your sample, come into the clinic and um, we'll make things work for you. My name is Dr. Courtney Ketting. Um, I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist here at the Holistic Institute of Health and Fertility. If you'd like any more information about men's health or infertility, you can check us out on our website at fertilecalgary.com. Thank you.